Hey you, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I wasn't gonna make a video today, I'm under the weather and all that nonsense, but I'm making ice cream because it's Phil's birthday and he deserves nice things. And I have never used this KitchenAid mixer before. So come on, hang out over my shoulder, let's put this thing together. Um, I made the ice cream mix last night. Um, it's been chilling in the fridge for longer than eight hours. It wanted at least eight hours. Um, and I've got the bowl, um, the freezy bowl for the mixer in the freezer. It's been in there for, my God, a really long time. Um, and um, I'm just gonna put the drive motor assembly on and the dasher, and then we're gonna just do it all at once, okay? Let's do it. This is the drive motor. And you'll see on the inside of it, you've got an A and a B, or an A and a B. Um, I, the instructions to put this onto this were not intuitive, so let me show you how it goes. Here's the A side. There's kind of an oval here. I'm gonna start from the bottom and just sort of pop it up. That's it, boom, done. Legit. I'm kind of filming this so that I have a record of how this thing goes back together. <laughs> I know you're wondering to yourself right now if this is typical, if this is a thing that happens in our kitchen all the time. Emphatically, yes. Husband. Yes. What for are you doing? Uh, refinishing an old steamer trunk. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, my. You all know I have a slight steamer trunk problem, right? Oh my goodness, this is super cool. This is super cool. This looks so good, Bill. It's coming together. It's coming together. I'm interested in seeing how this comes out, but... So am I. <laughs> Dude, I trust you and I believe in you. We'll okay. make it work. Cool beans. This is the freezy bowl. Freezy bowl! And it has been in the freezer. Freezing. For a hot minute, ha! No, no, um, no. It's been in the freezer for about a month or two. The instruction to put this part, the dasher in, um, is with the bowl. It also looked far more complicated than it needed to be. It basically says, put it into the freezy bowl, lock the freezy bowl in place, and then jiggle the handle until it engages. Here we go. All right, so it just locked right in there. Kaboom, kaboom. Okay, dasher on blitz end. This part goes in here. It's supposed to measure up to this. Let me get you a closer shot of that. Okay, so this part, in the, which is the dasher, is going to match up with this part. And then we jiggle the handle until it, it yeah. All right, let's get it going. <clears throat> Bring this down and line it up. Is that engaged? I think that was it. All right, and then it says to turn it on to, oh, <laughs> we're not plugged in. Okay, it says to turn it on to center. Oh, oh, lock. Make sure the motor head is down completely. All right. And then we'll go back to the vanilla ice cream. Assemble and engage freeze bowl, dasher, and drive assembly as directed in attachment instructions. Turn to stir. Using a container with a spout, pour mixture into freeze bowl. Okay, this is what it came out like. It has spent the evening chilling in the fridge. So this base is, it's very sweet. And it's got, it's very, very sweet. I think, um, I mean, we'll taste it when it's done, uh, but I may do this with a little less sugar next time. So next thing I'm supposed to do is very slowly pour it from there into there. So here we go. Kind of messy. 
I'm trying to go really slow so I don't make a big mess. Okay, so I think all we have to do now is just kind of pop a towel over the top to keep the cool in and uh, set a timer for 15 minutes. We're about at the eight minute mark. Let's take a look at it. Okay, it's a little clumpy, a little whippy. Looks like it's starting to form up. All right, I'm gonna close her back up and let her roll. So I'm here in the other room because that machine's a little noisy and I don't know, are you sensitive to that kind of thing? Because I, I am. If it's in the background, sometimes it can just be a little maddening. Um, anyway, so I don't know when the ice cream tradition started with Bill, but at some point um, for his birthday, I made him an ice cream cake. <laughs> like I brought home store-bought ice cream and left it on the counter and until it got to a squishy consistency. I put it in a spring form that you use for a cheesecake. Um, and I put some kind of jam in between it. And he was so thrilled that I've just kept doing it. This year's a little different. We're not doing an ice cream cake. Um, but we are, I am going to do the ice cream this year. So he picked out some jam that he wants to swirl it with when it's done. I believe it is, it's either lingonberry or loganberry. Lingonberry. And we tasted it last night and it's nice. It's sweet, but a little bit tart. Um, and I had seen a video on putting a ribbon in some ice cream. All right. So our 15 minute timer just went off. You excited? I'm, I'm. Ooh. Ooh. This is what we look like after 15 minutes of churning. All right, you want to taste it? All right, what do you think? Mm. That is so good. It's still really loose, which um, goes into the freezer next for a few hours. It's not overpoweringly sweet. No, that's really, really good. It did come out really good. I'm I'm glad it's not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. No, but no, it it's does the perfect balance. Tastes like custard. Tastes like really creamy vanilla ice cream. So I got these really cute little cups things to put the in. And I want to try and put a swirl into one of them while it's still really, really loose. Um, so I think I'm going to mm -hmm, think of thoughts. I've never done this before. Um, I'm going to put half of the ice cream into here and maybe warm up the lingonberry jam a little bit so that it's, it's loose and then we can swirl it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, okay. Woo. Okay. This is the dasher. Vixen. So, Bill, do you have any idea how we got started on this ice cream tradition for your birthday? I was reminiscing about having an ice cream, Carvel ice cream cake for my birthday one year. And you decided you were going to get me one and then couldn't find one. Oh, that's right. So, so I was like, screw it, I'll just make one. You decided to make one, which was... A total Frankenstein ice cream cake, but tasted delicious. I threw some stuff in a spring pan, y'all. Oh my god, this is so hard to get out of here now. So the recipe that I used is like the, the KitchenAid recipe. It, it's the one that came with the instructions on how to assemble this thing. Ooh, the bottom's really hard. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, you can really feel the butter fat in this. Try that. It's not like hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, so the next thing I'm gonna do is warm up a little bit of this Loganberry. Lingonberry. Lingonberry. Uh, preserves. And I'm probably gonna just do it in the microwave. All right, so our lingonberry preserves are, I mean, they look 
like pretty typical kind of preserves. Um, they're a little bit pectiny, you know, um, like you do. Anyway, I'm gonna toss these in the microwave for a few seconds at a time until I can get them into a pourable kind of consistency. I also may opt to thin this down just a little bit um, with just a little bit of water to make it more pourable. Super quick, it took about a minute to get this to pourable. Not even gonna have to add anything. Here we go. So, just yep. keep going. Oh, no, and just, yeah, Okay. there we go. Oh, okay, it's not working. <laughs> let it, yeah, let me. Okay. Okay, a little bit more. I was gonna, okay, I was gonna try to add it like from one point while you stirred. All right, so that didn't work at all. Um, it just mashed everything in there. I want a ribbon, I want a ribbon. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make like little walls. Can you pour it into this ditch I'm making? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Here in the middle. Oh, oh, okay. Right on top. Okay. All right, I'm gonna freeze it. I'm That's putting it. it back in the. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Taste. I can't taste the berries. That's why I wanted the ribbon. Mm. All right, so anyway, this ice cream surprised me the last time I chilled it. So I say we put it back in the freezer and see how it is in a couple of hours. Sounds good to me. All right. Okay. Oh, dude, you're just about done. Oh, Look it looks that. awesome. I'm just gotta put the hinge in. Okay. So there is no hinge for the other side. This is a reclaimed trunk that we got off the side of the road. And Raina does not know that this is for her room. Oh, it looks great. In business. Nice. This is such a pretty piece. Look at this. It's like tin work in here. In the middle has these pretty seashells. So it's it's nice to see this getting out of my closet and into use. But this was all like coming apart on the inside. And it was like paper and cedar was starting to come crumble in the corners. So we have this nice piece of home deck fabric and Bill just stapled her in place and it looks fantastic. I hope Raina loves it. Sweet cousin. Yes. The laundry has been folded. Yes. It has been set upon the bed. Thank you. And then I realized you had no place to put anything. And so, come here. Got you a steam trunk. Oh my God, I love that. Oh, that is so cool. I could put this at the foot of my bed. That was exactly what I wanted. Because I wanted to put something there, and I was going to move the shelf. Your timing was perfect. I finished putting the lining in about oh, four minutes ago. Awesome. <laughs> and the Thank best you. part of this, yes. where this came out of my closet, I put uh. the records in. Oh, thank you. Yay. Yay. All right, so you reclaimed a little space. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Anytime. Happy birthday. I got you a trunk. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, it's time. This has been in the freezer for, I think, three hours. Her go to hors d'oeuvre is a fancy little cracker, a chunk of brie, and a scoop of the lingonberry on top. Oh, so And we all just played hide and seek. So, this is what happened with the jam it kind of sank. Um, if you have a good idea on how to make a ribbon, let me know, please.
Oh, there we go. Scrunch. Oh, God, no. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bill. Happy birthday to you. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. It actually happened this time. Bye bye. This time the pulled. I also may opt. Yeah. I opt. Sorry. I also. <laughs>